Lucy, do you want to talk about vanilla WoW private servers again? Oh. So some of you guys probably think that this whole subject is as dead as my ex-girlfriend back there. But that's where you're wrong. Now, I do know that some people are probably kinda sick and tired of the whole NOST discussion and all that stuff, and I can understand. I mean, I know that not everybody is very passionate about seeing Legacy Realms put into World of Warcraft. I get it, I understand. And hey, Legion is a great expansion, so for many of you, why would you even want to play on a Legacy Realm? But bleh, there is a very special announcement that has been made and so I am just here to talk about that and what could potentially happen in the future. And uh, a little bit, uh, kind of, you know, talk a little bit about Blizzard and their approach to this whole situation. So pretty much Nost made an announcement about 11 days ago. So we've kind of had some time to let it sink in. And uh, pretty much what they said is that ever since they met with Blizzard Entertainment, They've been trying to help Blizzard in whatever way they can by offering them uh, tech help, by offering them, uh, you know, information from their studies, uh, potential cost analysis, schedules, milestones, just trying to help Blizzard in whatever way they can, whether that be through tech or on paperwork, in order to kind of make the legacy dream happen. However, they said that Ever since they met with Blizzard, they've tried to keep in contact with them. They've been trying to offer them uh, their aid, but apparently Blizzard has not been responding to any of their messages. And uh, Mark Kern over on Twitter, if you don't know who that is, uh, he's the guy that actually took the massive fucking stacks of paper of all the people that signed the petition. Uh, he's the guy that took all those papers to Mike Morheim and dropped all, you know, 250,000 plus on his desk and said, hey, here's like just a small portion of your population that wants Legacy Realms. Uh, and Mike or Mark Kern has also said the same thing, that Blizzard has not kept contact with uh, neither him or the Legacy people over at Nost uh, ever since they met with Blizzard. Now, I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail in a second, but let's just keep going. Pretty much what NOS said is that they're going to give their source code the data that made their server work so well compared to other vanilla private servers in the past, and they're going to be giving it to a server called Elysium. And I don't know nothing about no Elysium. I don't know much about private servers in general, but apparently they're going to give the source code to Elysium, and according to some of my stream buddies that I've spoken to on Twitch, uh, apparently what that means is on Elysium, now this could be wrong, this could be wrong, and if it is wrong, just don't, don't ignore, or well, just throw what I'm about to say out the window, but apparently something about how if you had a character on Nost, well, congratulations, because that character ain't dead anymore, because over on Elysium, they're going to make it so that they're, they're just going to take the database from NOST, put it on their servers, and so congratulations, you get to play your character again, whoever he or she was. So you're just you're getting your account back and everything. Um, it's just going to be under a different name, and also a, a lot of the people who worked on NOST apparently are going to be uh, working with the Elysium people and working on that server now. So it's pretty much going to be NOST 2.0, just under a different name, and the head head people that got NOST started, I'm assuming the people that actually went and met Blizzard, uh, they're not going to be working on it. Or maybe they will be, secretly, I don't, I, mean, I don't know. But I would think probably not, considering how Blizzard has seen their faces now, they know who they are, they know where they live, and uh, they probably don't want to get their asses sued. Uh, you might be wondering the same thing that I was wondering, which is where is this Elysium server hosted? Because Nost was hosted in France, and Blizzard poof, shut that down pretty quick. Um, so where's this server hosted? I don't fucking know. So if someone knows, you can leave it in the comment section below. I don't know nothing. I mean, <laughs> I don't know everything when it comes to this situation, alright? I'm just reading the forum thing, so 
leave me alone. Anyway, so first and foremost, there have been a lot of people who have been attacking Blizzard because of this uh, announcement. Now, when I say a lot, I don't mean like a stupid amount. Uh, not the, you know, not to the level of, you know, when Nost was originally shut down and every single feed in relation to World of Warcraft was people pissed off. But there have been a number of people that have been angry at Blizzard because of this announcement because, you know, you know, here you have people like the Nost people and Mark Kern and blah, blah, blah. And they're very passionate about, like, bringing this legacy thing into World of Warcraft and really appealing to this huge mass of people that want these servers. And Blizzard is apparently just ignoring them. They're just ignoring them now. And they're not talking to them. Guys. Ooh. Back up. Chill out for a second. Blizzard has no reason, no reason at all, to keep in contact with the guys at Nost. They have no reason to keep in contact with Mr. Mark or Mr. Kern. Uh, there's no point. The whole point of them inviting the Nost people over and Mark and everything was just to sit down, talk with them, talk about the demand, and to kind of assess, is the demand high enough that if Blizzard did it, it, it would be profitable to Blizzard? Once they did that, they made their argument. I don't know what was specifically talked about. I mean, that was their business, but they made their case. They put the signatures in front of Blizzard. It is now in Blizzard's ball court. There was never a, an agreement or anything that Blizzard would keep in contact with these guys about how they were going to implement legacy servers and blah, blah, blah. And to be honest, Blizzard probably knows exactly how they would implement legacy servers because Blizzard pushed that spiel for so long that like, oh yeah, we can't, we can't do a legacy realm because we don't have like the original vanilla WoW source code. And then the Nost people went there and they were like, hey, yeah, we totally got the vanilla WoW source code. We were just kidding all these years. <laughs> so Blizzard has probably, they know exactly how they would do it if they did it. It's just all about is the demand strong enough? Now, do I think there's a strong enough demand? Uh, fuck yeah, there's a strong enough demand. I mean, it's ridiculous, but maybe not right now. I mean, I don't think Blizzard would make Legacy Realms tomorrow because Blizzard... Legion is just doing too good. I mean, it's doing incredible. My last video was... I talked about how Legion is growing WoW's population. That is awesome to hear. I love Legion. And so for you motherfuckers out there, every video I try to say it. Every video I try to say that, oh, I, I really am enjoying Legion. I, I really like it. And every, every video, some guy says, Oh, Nixium, you, you just... The, the only reason you want Legacy is because you just think Legion is so bad and so terrible. Even though it's really good, you just need to give it a chance. Listen! I like Legion, okay? I'm sick of you. You know who you are. That one guy. That one asshole. Anyway, back to the announcement. So, yeah. So, there, there was no reason for Blizzard to keep in contact with these guys. So, don't, don't get mad at Blizzard for you know, not responding to their emails or anything. They didn't have to do that. This is just all in Blizzard's court now. Let Blizzard make the decision. Now, do I think that Blizzard is going to implement Legacy Realms uh, after Legion? Possibly? Uh, no. <laughs> you guys want my honest opinion? You guys want the no strings attached? You know, I'm not trying to be the neutral YouTuber the guy in the middle that's trying to be, you know, whatever. You guys want my honest opinion? Blizzard Entertainment did exactly what I talked about in my, uh, in my first Nost video. They did exactly what I talked about. They shut down the server. Oh, excuse me, let's back up. Before Nost came along, if somebody were to ask Blizzard Entertainment, Hey, what are the, are, are there, is there a possibility of Legacy Realms coming? You know what Blizzard would say? They would say, hmm, well, maybe we'll think about it. We'll think about it. And then sometimes you'd get the, nah, you probably don't want that. But most of the time the answer was, hmm, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. We're talking about it. All right. Nost comes along. Starts doing incredibly well. Blows up. Blizzard shuts it down because it's doing too well. So Blizzard shuts it down. And then all this stuff happens. People get so pissed off. People go crazy at Blizzard Entertainment. And Blizzard says, holy shit, this isn't good, considering how Overwatch was about to come out. And a lot of people were saying, 
hey, as a form of protest, we're not going to buy Overwatch because you just gave the middle finger to like a huge majority or a huge piece of your community that really wants to see this, both playing the game right now and not playing the game. World of Warcraft, that is. And so Blizzard said, oh shit, well, you know, this this might actually affect our sales of Overwatch and other games. So let's let's pretend like we give a shit. And they flew the guys out. And they were like, hmm, yes, yes, uh, Legacy Realms, yes. And they sat down and they stroked their beards majestically. And then the people went home. And uh, now we are right back where we started, where if you were to ask Blizzard, hey, uh, so about those Legacy Realms, you know what Blizzard's going to say? Hmm, maybe. We're thinking about it. Maybe. So we're right back where we started. Honestly speaking, do I think Blizzard's going to make Legacy Realms? No. No. Blizzard will make Legacy Realms only when World of Warcraft is, like, on the brink of dying. Like, Warlords of Draenor level again. That is when they'll do Legacy Realms. They'll be like, oh shit, hey, remember remember all those good times you had back in Wrath of the Lich King and Burning Crusade? Well, go relive them again. Come back and pay $15 a month again and relive those good times. That is when they'll do Legacy Realms. That's when they'll do it. Other than that, they, there's no reason. There, there's no reason to divide the community right now when Legion is doing so good and Blizzard is doing so well. There's no reason to do it. I, I, if I was a game developer, I wouldn't do it. I mean, why would I? I mean, unless Blizzard said, hey, you can play on the Vanilla WoW Legacy Realm or play Legion, it's up to you. But if you want to play on the Vanilla WoW Legacy Realm, you got to pay an extra $5 a month. So now your sub fee is $20 a month instead of $15. Unless they did something like that. But I mean, I don't know. The point is, guys, I mean, I would love to be proven wrong there. I honestly would love it if I was proven wrong because I would love to see Legacy Realms in this game. I've wanted to see Legacy Realms in this game since probably Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, I think around Wrath of the Lich King was when I started to say, hmm, you know, I would really like to play Vanilla WoW again and play Burning Crusade again. That would be really cool, kind of like near the end of it. Um, so probably around there. So I've been wanting Legacy Realms for a long time. Now, in regards to the rest of the announcement, I only have one thing to really say. These guys that worked on Nost, according to this post, they worked on rescripting and setting up this server and getting it to work as well as it did. They worked on it for six years. Six years they worked to play the game that is now gone. And they shared this with thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people around the world. And through that passion, they inspired hundreds of thousands of people to come out and vocally say to Blizzard, we want this. This is the WoW we want to play, that we want to either experience again or experience for the first time or whatever. And listen, I don't care if you're someone that you're on the legacy like server pro side of the argument, like you really want them. And I don't care if you're somebody that you don't want them, you have no interest. Credit where credit is due. I mean, that is some serious passion staring you right in the face. And so you know what? I don't give a shit if the server was illegal. I don't give a fuck if the people were breaking Blizzard's terms. I say good job. I say you guys did an awesome job at, at bringing out this kind of, this silent, uh, group of people from around the world that want to see this happen. I say that you guys over at Nost did an awesome job. And you know what? I'm even going to go as far to say this. This whole Elysium thing, the, this new server or whatever, I don't know where it's going to be hosted. I don't know if it's going to get as big as Nost did. I don't know anything about it. I'll, I'll monitor the situation as, you know, the months roll on. But you know what, Elysium staff and former Nost staff, I wish you guys luck. I wish you guys luck with this new server. I wish you guys luck with continuing to show Blizzard this extremely passionate side of their community that is currently playing WoW and maybe even not playing WoW anymore. I wish you guys luck. So I'll acknowledge your passion. And I hope that down the road, Blizzard acknowledges all of our passion for the legacy realms was that a little corny that might have been a little corny but you know what i don't care 
I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, this will probably be the last video I make on Legacy Realms and all that malarkey for a while, unless something really crazy happens. But I don't think anything will. Um, I apologize to any of you that might have uh, gotten annoyed or just tired of all this Legacy Realm talk on not just my channel, but everyone's channel. I mean, everyone's talking about this. I mean, Wow Crendor just put out a video like two days ago, I think. Asmongold put out videos. Bellular's talking about it. Everyone's talking about it. And I can understand that for for those of you that don't care about this, I get it. I, I get it. It's probably kind of annoying, but I hope that you can just at least see the passion that these people have, including me, for these, you know, these legacy realms. And you can at least respect that because, you know, we're just a bunch of nerds that want to play our favorite video game, you know? You know? You know what I mean? Alright. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching or listening. I appreciate it. I will be back with more Machinima videos soon and top tens and all that sorts of good stuff. And, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah. You guys are great. And I'll see you later. Peace.